friends, welcome back to the channel. I thought I would give you a little update today. I have a little bit of time before my sister and I are gonna go visit dad this evening. So I thought I would sit down and just let you know how I'm doing, how dad is doing, and uh, how life is in general. <laughs> uh, what a roller coaster ride the last, I don't know, month and a half, I'm losing track of time. Almost two months has been with dad between the hospital uh, visit, the hospitalizations and then a couple rehabs. He is still in the second rehab right now. We had our care plan meeting um, a couple days ago with the staff at the rehab and um, they are basically saying it's time for him to move on to an assisted living facility because he's not progressing with the physical therapy. I mean, at this point with the cancer, as extensive as it is, uh, you know, he can't always <laughs> do, um, you know, the exercises and even getting out of bed is such a, it's such a big task for him just to sit up in the wheelchair for a little while. He's always counting down um, until he can get back in the bed. In fact, on Tuesday when we were over there, uh, we had the aide go ahead and get him fully dressed and sitting in the wheelchair because the nurse was coming over from the assisted living facility that we're trying to get dad moved to, um, was coming over to do her evaluation. And uh, that was the first time I've seen dad sitting up in the wheelchair when I have been there. He's primarily just been laying in the bed. Um, you know, he has a fractured back from his fall, so his back hurts, but really, um, He's just not in great shape. Uh, some days are better than others. Like uh, Tuesday, I have to say, he was on his A game. He knew what he had to do <laughs> in terms of, you know, meeting the requirements to uh, get, move to this assisted living facility. And he was on it. He, <laughs> he at the end of it, he asked how he did. And he even asked for their business card, <laughs> just like old dad. <laughs> it was really cute. Um, but he's looking forward to getting settled over there as much as he would really like to come home, of course. Um, that's just not possible. So um, we will be having hospice come in to the assisted living facility there and they will kind of take over his care and the pain management and all of that. Right now, He's really not in too much pain. It kind of comes and goes, and generally he just asks for a Tylenol. He does have an order for something a little stronger, but um, what a rigmarole we have been through. They had prescribed some one particular pain medicine, which is pretty heavy duty, and um, it just didn't have good results for him. He just really gets so confused and looks like death warmed over. So unless he's in a good bit of pain, um, we definitely don't want to go the extreme route, but you know, it's available if he needs it. And like I said, hospice will kind of oversee all of that. So that is a relief. And then the other good thing about once he is moved to the assisted living facility, um, we can have home health come in and aid once a week and then physical therapy. So whatever extent of <laughs> any exercises or just getting out of the bed um, that he can do all the better and that will be covered by Medicare. So that is a win-win. He's already talking about uh, me bringing over an instrumental CD so and a CD player for him to listen to. So that's really good because, oh my goodness, there for a couple of weeks, everything was, do you want this? No, no. <laughs> everything was no, no, no. Like a two-year-old, he just, uh, he was in a bad mindset and um, I'm really glad to see him kind of transition, at least for right now, <laughs> into having a little bit of hope. And um, of course, we've been over there every day to visit him. My sister from Pennsylvania is down um, since last Saturday, so almost a week now, and then she'll be here one more week. So that has been really good. I know that's meant a lot to him. She's the oldest, <laughs> so she's special. Uh, I mean, I'm sure we all are in our own way, but you know, the firstborn is very special. <laughs> and he doesn't get to see her all the time, although they do come down for Thanksgiving every year, so that's nice. 
and they will be back again for Thanksgiving. So I'm getting to see her <laughs> quite a bit this year. Um, and then of course my younger sister and my brother, um, my younger sister lives in Alabama. My old, my brother, my only brother lives in California. So they were just here um, about a week and a half ago um, for about five days. So uh, that was good that they could visit with dad and um, they don't get to see him very much. So dad has had all of the company. And uh, of course my daughter and my son have been over to visit him some and they always bring him a treat. My daughter was over there on Tuesday with us and uh, she brought him a uh, large chocolate frosty. And I have to say, when uh, during the weeks and days that he really has been tanking, it's during times when he's refusing to eat. And that is the hardest thing to see. No matter what we offer him or encourage him, I bring him protein shakes, uh, I bring him whatever I think that he might eat. Um, but on Tuesday, my daughter brought a large chocolate frosty and usually he might just drink a little bit of it, but he, over the course of several hours, he finished the whole thing. So that just did our hearts so much good to see him actually eating and drinking something. And um, and he did have some of the protein shake that I took him yesterday too, so that was good. Uh, we told him that we would make him some oatmeal raisin cookies because he was talking about that. <laughs> um, so. We're trying to get him to eat. And I will say this week, he has been eating um, more of his meals there. So that's good. Um, it's just, you know, it's it's the ups and the downs. Some days are, like I said, good. And some days he's just in a fog and confused, um, especially right when he wakes up. Uh, he's very confused. Uh, one day last week he called me and he, he asked me where he was um, and then once he kind of woke up a little bit more he got his bearings. I've taken over some pictures and so he's got some framed pictures sitting directly across from, from his bed so he can see one of them has my mom in it and the rest of our family and I just thought he would like to see um, pictures of us and maybe that would help to ground him and kind of see. <laughs> remind him where he is and remind him that he is surrounded by family. So, yes, yeah, so we are looking at um, the transfer to the assisted living facility next week. Um, I'm doing all I can to <laughs> expedite this and um, that will be so good just to get him settled in there. I know he'll feel better, I will feel better. <laughs> and the nice thing is it is so much closer to our house so it's much easier to go and visit and not fight with traffic. <laughs> right now he is a good 30 minutes and on bad traffic days like the other day, it took me almost an hour to get there. Um, so that's a, that's a little hike, <laughs> a lot of gas. Um, but the assisted living facility where he will be is literally about seven minutes from our house. So that will definitely be a lot easier for our family to go and visit him. So that is good. That is where we are right now. It's just been a lot um, administratively on my part, um, just overseeing his care and um, answering his late night phone calls. <laughs> it's been a lot. Uh, but hopefully once he kind of gets settled in, he'll maybe have a little bit less anxiety um, at night. At night seems to be the worst. Um, but that's how dad's doing. So how am I doing? Well, I am hanging in there. I'm just very tired. <laughs> uh, sleep is sometimes very difficult. Um, even if I do actually have the time to rest and lay down, uh, you know, the brain, it never stops. So I am trying to take extra good care of myself. My kids are always checking in with me and uh, really have been a blessing. Uh, my daughter brought over dinner for us the other night, and that was so sweet of her. She said, Mom, don't cook. I'm, I'll be over in a couple hours with dinner. <laughs> and so she had put a really nice uh, whole chicken in the Instant Pot. I think she put like 
Cajun seasoning on it. It was really nice and tender. And then she made the best, I'll try to link it in the description box below, but the best um, butternut squash soup. And she also threw in some sweet potatoes in it, which made it really good. The recipe called for shallots and um, let's see, maple syrup. And instead of those, she used onions and uh, honey. And I thought it was just beautiful, <laughs> wonderful. It was literally like fine dining quality. I want to make it sometime soon. So I had that for the next couple days for lunch and dinner. And sadly, it is all gone. <laughs> but that was so sweet of her. And she picked up um, some fresh bread from Publix for us to go with that. And it was, and oh, and topped it with pumpkin seeds on the side. That was really nice. Um, so that was a special dinner. I really appreciate her thoughtfulness and um, it was a nice treat. So I, like I said, I'm hanging in there trying to be uh, extra good to myself where possible. You guys, I have not sat down to my sewing machine in like a month, I think. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> There's just been so much happening, but I hope to soon, soon. My older sister uh, crochets, she, so she carries her crocheting bag when we go to visit dad, and uh, that's something nice and relaxing for her. I wish I could carry my sewing machine and my quilting, <laughs> um, but I don't do any hand sewing or any of that. Um, I am tempted to pick up crocheting again. I do, I have crocheted in the past. I haven't in a while, but you know, the small projects that I might be more inclined to make would be something like a scarf. And here in Florida, we don't wear too many of those. So <laughs> I guess I could do pot holders. <laughs> but that's what's happening around here. Um, just a lot going on. Uh, still keeping my grandson uh, one to two days a week. Now next week, I will have him three days. So that is exciting. He is growing and growing, you guys. He just turned eight months old and he's just crawling everywhere. He likes to say, ba 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 ba. <laughs> We're waiting. I'm waiting for the mama and dada. My son is definitely waiting for the dada. <laughs> the race against the mama and the dada sounds. <laughs> But he's a good little eater and he's filling out and just growing by the day. It seems like every time I see him, uh, he's grown. <laughs> it's amazing. He still is pretty much bald. He has a little bit of hair and it's coming in. So uh, excited to see uh, how his hair frames his little face. But he is the sweetest little boy and uh, Grammy just loves him to pieces. So he's definitely a highlight in my day all the time. Um, so yeah, that's about all that's happening around here. Just, um, you know, taking care of dad, um, and taking it one day at a time. That's what I keep telling myself. Let's try not to get too far ahead of ourselves. Um, planning, of course, uh, all the plans are in place. Um, but taking it one day at a time. Um, and just, you know, we're just committed to being there for him. However, many days that he has left and you know at the end of the day he has put his faith and trust in Jesus Christ and he is his personal Lord and Savior so we know that he uh, his eternal home is heaven and one day uh, we all you know it's the Bible says that uh, it is appointed once unto man to die and then the resurrection so we know that one day we all will face an eternal destination. And I pray that for each of you that your eternal destination will be heaven. And, um, you know, it's a wonderful thing when our family members uh, cross over into heaven and we have that hope and assurance that, you know what, one day we will be reunited. We will see them again. So it is just see you later and not a forever goodbye. And that gives us peace and hope at the end of the day. So until next time, I will try to, t uh, you know, touch base with you, check in and all that good stuff here and there, let you know how dad's doing, how I'm doing. And uh, I hope all is well with you guys. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless.